Well, I'm Christian Sotsmead. I was a member of the technical team, and this is Korean Playfair. She was financial team. <laughs> But um, we're based in Hawley, Pennsylvania, which is a small town in northeastern Pennsylvania, about two hours out of New York City. And we're, um, lo our school is located right on uh, Lake Wall and Paw Pack, which is 13 miles long. And we, there's a major safety issue on the lake where, because they don't allow the AC electricity out on the docks, which, because electricity, water don't really mix together. <laughs> so. They have um, spotlights mounted on the shore to illuminate the docks at night, but still the docks are so long that they don't reach to the end of the docks, so it's just total pitch black when you get out there, so I can't see anything. So what we did was develop a generator that uses the motion of the waves and converts that to electric energy, which will at nighttime light up a light to illuminate the whole dock. So. Oh wow, that's cool. Uh, what was the biggest roadblock you guys hit? Well, going into it, we were originally thinking about using um, linear motion. So when the wave would go up and down, it would take a magnet and pass it through a copper coil. But then, uh, during December and January, we realized we put hooked up an oscilloscope, and we realized this is not generating nearly enough that we need to power an LED. So that was our biggest roadblock, I would say, figuring yeah. out we're like totally changing up exactly how we thought our original idea was. So we actually changed to rotary motion, and that's proven a lot more successful than the other idea. Uh, that makes sense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so how do you guys break down your duties? How do you delegate your duties amongst the team? Uh, you want to? Okay. All right, um, we had three big teams. We had the communications team, the financial team, and then the technical team. The technical team was kind of, I not necessarily split, but they kind of separated. Some did more advanced things like the programming of the device and working on the circuit boards. And some people worked on um, constructing our model, working the model doc that we have behind us. So we kind of we kind of figured each other's weaknesses and strong and strengths and kind of just played to them. And then the communication team was all about Facebook, blog, Twitter, and really having a lot of press releases. We were in Fortune enough today, we'll have some government official recognition and a lot of press releases, which is really exciting. The financial team is pretty self-explanatory. We're managing all the receipts. Um, normally teams have administration teams, but we all really worked together and really just tried. And we knew we had to get stuff done when we did, and we kind of just worked really well together, and we knew what had to be done. Yeah, that's the goal at the end. <laughs> What was your favorite part about this program, about the inventive process, just in general? Uh, definitely, I mean, apart from actually finding out that we received the grant, which was pretty cool. But the whole development process was a lot of fun, but I think it really kind of comes to an apex here at the Eureka Fest, where you get to see everyone else's project, what they've all been working on, kind of compare, socialize, see, ask questions, everything, I think it's really cool just to meet and see what other teams did and what their community needs were for it, so. Did you guys have a big aha moment, a big breakthrough during the invention process? When that light went off for the first time, yeah. and actually we had enough energy to power it off, I think we were all in the room, like, it was just amazing, all of our hard work finally came together. Uh, where do you guys plan to go with this? Do you plan to keep inventing it, work more on it, get a pack maybe? Talk. We gave, um, we started giving thought into um, maybe applying for a patent for it. One of our team members, um, his father has a lot of experience in the patent office. Um, he's down there quite often, so he, if we do pursue a patent, he would be helping us um, get the patent. And then also, probably market it to um, local business area, like marinas or homeowners that have property on the lake to just illuminate their docks just for general safety and everything. So. That's perfect. Now I need you guys to explain this whole experience in one word. One word per person. You can go first. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, oh boy, okay. <laughs> um, does it only have to be one? I guess it only has to be one. You could do two. Okay. You <laughs> must. Um, It was definitely, yeah, it was incredible. I mean, the whole, yeah, not very creative, but no, it, the whole thing just kind of problem solving, learning about everything. Like I, before this, I knew absolutely nothing about circuitry, nothing about like computer programming, but then incredible in the fact that 
throughout this, in like a period of three or four months working with the circuit boards and the electrical guys, they managed to teach me everything that needed to be done with the circuits and just everything. And now incredible seeing everyone else's thing, everyone coming together to just kind of display all their different inventions and ideas. Perfect. Thanks for your time, guys. Thanks. Thank you.